Good morning and welcome to Eco Electric. This is a demonstration video on how to read an Aurora ABB inverter. The main difference so far being that ABB has a Wi-Fi expansion card which can be added to both new and most existing models to allow uh, remote monitoring via a web browser or an app. Uh, the expansion card just slots in to the bottom here. It requires an electrician to be fit, but it's a fairly uh, quick and painless process. And there's a display on the front here, which by default gives the real-time power output of each tracker in watts. So you can see here we're doing 1,054-ish watts on one tracker and 842 on the other. Uh, we've got about 8.5 kilowatts of PV feeding into this 5 kilowatt unit. It's heavily overclocked and uh, that is mostly for ongoing testing purposes uh, and also to compensate for some significant uh, shading factors on the roof up top. So now if we go through the displays here, you'll see we have some buttons here on the right. There's an escape button, up, down and enter. And really, for the most part, the only buttons you will need are your up and down. This is electrical voltage of tracker 2, the voltage and the current, both in DC. Input 1, same, all changes in real time. This is what we're outputting to the grid in amps and the grid frequency. Current voltage of the grid, average voltage of the grid. If you're having voltage rise problems, these readings can be quite helpful. Uh, the Energex limit is 255 and a lot of inverters will switch off around that mark including uh, anything that is new for this area. So this was our peak production uh, earlier today, uh, maxed out at 5000 watts. This unit will uh, throttle itself at 5000 watts so it will never produce past that. Uh, and below that, that's the peak of the day. So that's quite handy if uh, you're at work and you want to come home and you want to see the, the highest points that the inverter reached. It's important to remember that these readings are in real time. They're, they're not kilowatt hour readings, so they don't relate to uh, your billing. This is what the inverter has been doing in real time. Some temperature readings. The unit's actually running quite comfortably there at the moment. Uh, it will derate, will start to derate at around about 50 degrees and it will operate quite happily up to around about 65 degrees internal temperature. So here we have our kilowatt hour totals and this is really uh, what is important. This is the total over all time. This is the total of what we've produced today, 13.1. Now, I've also entered a, a figure into the system which gives us that $3.80 amount. Uh, that is using the figure produced at a tariff rate of around 28 cents. So that's how it calculates that number. It's important to remember here that this is what the, the system has produced. So some of this power will be used inside the home or office. That's where it will go first and the remainder will go out to the grid. Now, your supply authority meter, the Energex meter, will show what has been exported. It won't show what has been used. So if you want to know what has been used, you need to look at this figure here, and then minus the export figure from the Energex meter to give you your solar usage. Serial number, some firmware details, model number, status, date. Now this one here can occasionally cause some problems. This is an insulation reading on the cabling in the system. 
uh, ABBs and quality units perform that test automatically at a regular interval. You will generally see this figure here drop down in wet weather. Uh, it's a very variable reading that, that changes quite dramatically based on the humidity in the air. And we're looking for a reading over one megohm. So this is currently five times that. And look, anything over a megohm is going to have an eye leak, a current leak of zero milliamps. Uh, once we start dropping below one megohm, uh, the unit will go into alarm and we would see that figure increase. And that's pretty much it for actually reading the inverter. Uh, if we go further into the menus by pressing and holding escape key, we now have uh, uh, several more menus. There's statistics, settings, info, and back to the start. So we can do lifetime or partial, which is uh, a length of time set in the settings menu, or today. And in each menu we get different totals. So for example, peak, the total number of kilowatt hours produced, what it's worth in dollars, how much CO2 that equates to reducing, and so on. To operate the partial, we need to go to the settings menu. This password is 000 by default. You can change the address of the unit. This is for uh, setting up multiple inverter systems. You can change the display, light and contrast. This is to access the installers menu. You can change the password. You can go in to set your tariff rate so that it correctly displays uh, the dollar amounts. You can set the time and date and the country, the language. We use this start voltage setting to uh, wind down the inverter to make it start on a lower voltage. Uh, you won't get more power out of doing this. Uh, in fact, you will make the inverter run uh, in a less efficient manner. So that's an installer only menu that is used to get around some tricky design configurations. And generally we design your system so that V-Start does not have to be used. Uh, the inverter is capable of sending some alarms and remote control via RS-485 or some other communication protocols. These are more installer menus, which I do not recommend you change. Uh, for instances where there may be some shading problems or perhaps a very cloudy area, you can increase the scan interval on the PowerPoint tracker, which can increase the efficiency of the inverter. However, it can also decrease it. So it, these are settings that should only be used by a professional who has analyzed the system and knows what they're doing. If we go into the info number uh, menu, info menu, we can take out part number, serial number, firmware, country code. These are mostly things for if you ever had to uh, get service directly from ABB. Uh, but for all our customers, you just call us directly and then we handle the whole process uh, with ABB on your behalf. Uh, uh, that concludes another video. Uh, next time we may look at ABB's uh, new internet logging software which integrates with this unit. Otherwise, have a good week.